Climate change. Don't you love living in the United States? Why, you came up from Venezuela. Thank you. You're going to come up here, and you're going to go to the north, one of the northern cities to live. And when you arrive, there's a blizzard going on, and they're dropping three feet of snow on you. <laughs> Climate change. I noticed the um, some of the advertisements on TV and on um, uh, Internet. They're going to solve the problem of climate change. Why, we're going to put out windmills and solar panels and electric cars. That's to solve the problem. And we're going to plant more trees. Okay, sure. And if you give us $10 a month, or is it $20 a month, or is it $19.95 a month, we can help and save the world. True, but where were you 50 years ago when the hippies back in the 70s wanted windmills and solar cells and electric cars? And they were they, well, we got to plant more trees. Yes, sir. How long did that last? Well, most likely a lot less than the, the current wave of planting more trees, like in Brazil and uh, other areas, um, planting more trees, so we'll soak up more CO2. But you have already hit 400 parts per million, or way above that, or not way above that, but above that, which is interfering with your climate. If you were back taking the courses I did 50 years ago, you would have been told that at 400 parts per million, you just screwed up the climate, which we see it. We're getting really interesting weather in the United States. We used to get tornadoes. Now we really get tornadoes. We used to get hurricanes. Now we really get big hurricanes. And when it rains, it really rains. And when it snows, well, maybe Lake Mead will get filled up with water again. It's kind of, kind of like that thing. But when it burns, the fire burns, it really, I think. Well, see, here is the, 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 the mountain areas need water. The real, those redwoods there are dying because of lack of water. I don't know why the um, Forest Service didn't pump in water, find a lake, and fill it with water for the redwoods. But, of course, that's beyond my, my understanding or my <clears throat> it's beyond my pay grade. I might complain about something, but I can't really do anything about it. Um, not having children to help a lot, yes. Of course, not can't afford to have children. Um, that helped, but um, I, I do see these commercials. These people are going to go out and change everything. Really? Wow! And for nineteen ninety five, as I said, nineteen ninety five a month. You can they're going to go out there and they're going to they're going to do what? Plant trees. Uh, clean up streams. I used to do that with a um, Prairie Club canoe. Prairie Prairie Canoe Club. We used to go down the uh, the Splains River, cleaning up the thing every year. You know, bags of trash, and you believe in there. And the Forest Preserve would come in there and pick the stuff up. And the Boy Scouts would do that, and the Girl Scouts would do that along the roads to clean up the uh, local rivers. But uh, Every year, of course, every year people keep throwing their beer cans into the river. And other trash, you know, like, uh, see, what was it? What was the thing? Tires and uh, shopping carts. Those, those were some of the big, big ones you pull out of the, uh, the river. But, uh, yeah. And at that time, it was a thing, environmental, people were environmental, we plant more trees, we plant more of this, we plant more of that, we, so we soak up the seal too. And those hippies come along and they did their little thing on their little farms. You always see the hippies on their little farms. Oh, they're getting back to nature. Well, getting back to nature is getting up at five, 4 to 5 a.m. in the morning, having a breakfast and go out to the farm fields and then maybe have lunch in the farm field. 
and then come back at night and have dinner and then go back to bed and get up at 4 a.m. in the morning. Not, not for the city slickers. Not a lot of the hippie farms failed because they're not going to get up at 4 a.m. in the morning. I never got up at 4 a.m. in the morning, so they're not going to do that. And you could see there's a lot of wasted land out there that um, is vacant uh, across the United States. Unless there happens to be oil on it, and that's something else. But, uh, yeah, well you, well, you can go plant trees. Uh, well, you need a water table, son. And we don't have a water table there. Um, so... The water table has shrunk. You know, it used to be a hundred feet. Now it's a thousand feet, or two thousand feet, or five thousand feet. Wait, five thousand feet? Oil. Um, yeah, and you you see the, cl the climate change. I mean, it's really bad. Um, the uh, the frost line is moving north to Canada. What does that mean? Um, along with that frost line goes the uh, African queen bee, mm -hmm. um, uh, pine beetles, mm -hmm. they eat their way all north. Um, there used to be a climate change before they, quote, climate change happened. Temperatures in the mountain ranges would hit 40 to 50 below zero. Now they're hitting 20 below zero. What's, what does that mean? The pine beetles are not being killed. They're not freezing. You know, they do freeze, but at 50 degrees below zero, they really freeze and kills them. At 20 degrees below zero, they go into hibernation. And you look at it. You look at that thing. As, as the frost line moves north, uh, everything, everything changes. And uh, it doesn't make any difference. We're going to save the bears. From what? You're going to, you're going to save the polar bears, right? Right. And, and with what? You're going to refreeze the Antarctic or the Arctic? No. You're not going to freeze this up. Mother Nature does that. You don't. And all the uh, little, well, this is a solution here and that's the solution there. Well, the, the thing is, the Arctic is being free of ice. That means you can move from Canada to Russia all year long going in through the Arctic. You don't have to worry about pack ice. And of course, the seals go and the wolves go and the Arctic fox goes and the polar bear goes. But we knew all that, didn't we? We sure did, guys. I don't care what all the little children. Well, which is another thing I asked. Year 2000, we had 6 billion people. T 10 or 11 years either, we had 7 billion. And now we have, are doing 8 billion. Actually, we're over 8 billion. We're heading for 9 billion. And last year, I was told 133 million people were born on this planet. And said, okay, how are you going to feed them? Well, science will do that. Oh, yeah? Why, yes, we're, we're on the verge of doubling our food crop. You are, huh? Well, that should be interesting. You're also on the verge of adding another 100 million people in the country, world. And how are you going to feed them? <clears throat> it was said by um, National Science or something, like agency, that what's going to happen by the year end of this century in the United States, it is estimated there's going to be one billion people here. Certain laws will be passed, like you don't live by yourself. No single, it takes, you need to have two people in your apartment. It will, it will be like China, okay? There has to be two people in that apartment. You look in China, there are no people, single people do not live by themselves because if they live by themselves in China, instead of blocks and that thing, they're charged an extra rent. 
by living by themselves. So you live with your parents or your grandparents. If COVID-19 didn't kill them off. <clears throat> but it's against the law to live by yourself in China. That's, I don't know. I heard I heard that from someone else. Let's see, that thing. Um, it will happen in the United States. People that live by themselves in their little homes and that will be told they can't live by themselves in their little homes. You have to have a person, another person living in your home. Uh, if you can stand the other person. Ooh, another person. I know. Okay, I'm a dirty old man. Come on, I'm a dirty old man. But she's only 20 years old. Yes, but she's a Amish girl. And, and, and she can cook. She can wash the floors. She can do the dishes. And there's something else there, but I'm so old I forget. Oh, well, that's that's my thing about saving the world and climate change. We screwed ourselves royalty. Oh, I'm blaming on the United States. Well, Florida, by the end of the century, very likely will be a coral reef again. Uh, it'll be underwater. Houseboats. Houseboats. Yes. Who makes houseboats? <laughs>